welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the following question that says, find the values of x for which f x equal to x into x minus 2, the whole square, is an increasing function. Also, find the points on the curve where the tangent is parallel to x axis. Before we move on to the solution, let's recall some results. First, we have if a function f be continuous on the closed interval AB and differentiable on the open interval AB, then the function f is increasing in the closed interval AB if we have f dash x greater than 0 for every x belongs to the open interval AB. So next we have that if a tangent line is parallel to the x-axis then it means that the slope of the tangent line is 0. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's now proceed with the solution. We are given a function fx and we have to find the values of x for which this function is an increasing function. We have fx is equal to x into x minus 2, this whole square, or this can be written as fx is equal to x square minus 2x, the whole square. Further, fx is equal to x to the power 4 minus 4x cube plus 4x square. Now differentiating both sides, we get f dash x is equal to 4x cube minus 12x square plus 8x. This means that f dash x is equal to 4x into x squared minus 3x plus 2 the whole. Or we can say that f dash x is equal to 4x into the factorizing this polynomial. By splitting the many terms we get x squared minus x minus 2x plus 2 the whole. So, now we have f dash x is equal to 4x into x into x minus 1 the whole minus 2 into x minus 1 the whole. Or you can say that we have f dash x is equal to 4x into x minus 2 the whole into x minus 1 the whole. Now we take f dash x equal to 0. This means that 4x into x minus 2 the whole into x minus 1 the whole is equal to 0, which gives us x equal to 0, x equal to 2, x equal to 1. These points divide the whole real line into for this joint open intervals so as you can see the points 0, 1 and 2 divides this whole real line into four disjoint open intervals which are open interval minus infinity 0, then open interval 0, 1, 
open interval 1 2 and open interval 2 infinity now we'll check the sign of f dash x in these four intervals and then we'll find the nature of the function fx whether it is increasing or decreasing in the given intervals first consider the open interval minus infinity 0 in this case the value of x would be less than 0 now our f dash x is equal to pair x into x minus 1 the whole into x minus 2 the whole now for the value of x less than 0 we will have 4 into minus that is x would be negative then x minus 1 would be negative and x minus 2 would also be negative so this means the sign of f dash x would be negative or you can say this function f dash x would be less than 0 now we know that a function f is increasing if f dash x is greater than 0 so in the same way if f dash x is less than 0 the function f would be decreasing so we can say that the function fx is decreasing in the open interval minus infinity 0 now consider the next open interval 0 1 that is value of x lies between 0 and 1 so this would be 4 into positive that is x would be positive and x minus 1 would be negative since the value of x would be less than 1 and x minus 2 would also be negative since the value of x would be less than 1 and so f dash x would be greater than 0 that is it would be positive as f dash x is greater than 0 so the function fx would be increasing function now the next interval is open interval 1 2 here the value of x lies between 1 and 2 now let us see for the sign of f dash x so this would be 4 into or x would be positive then x minus 1 would be positive as where the value of x would be greater than 1 and x minus 2 would be negative as the value of x would be less than 2 so f dash x would be less than 0 that is it would be negative and so the function f x is a decreasing function for the open interval to infinity let us check out for the sign of f dash x this would be 4 into x would be positive in this case then x minus 1 would also be positive since the value of x would be greater than 2 then x minus 2 would also be positive as the value of x would be greater than 2 so on the whole f dash x would be greater than 0 that is the sign of f dash x is positive and hence the function fx would be increasing hence we say that the function fx is increasing in the intervals open interval 0 1 and open interval to infinity this means that the value of x lies between 0 and 1 and x is greater than 2 so these are the required values of x next we are supposed to find the points on the curve where the tangent is parallel to x axis now we already know that if a tangent line is parallel to the x axis this means that the slope of the tangent line is 0 we have fx equal to x into x minus 2 the whole square and f dash x is equal to 
फोर एक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस वन दी होल इंटू एक्स माइनस टू दी होल नाउ एस दी टेंजेंट इज पैरल टू दी एक्स एक्सेस देर फोर एस डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस मीन्स फोर एक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस वन दी होल इंटू एक्स माइनस टू दी होल इज इक्वल टू जीरो विच गिव एस एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू नाउ फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव एक्स ऑफ जीरो वुड बी इक्वल टू दैट इज वी पुट जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स इन दी फंक्शन एफ एक्स दैट इज दिस फंक्शन सो वी गेट जीरो इंटू जीरो माइनस टू होल स्क्वेयर विच वुड बी जीरो देन फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू वन वी फाइंड एफ ऑफ वन दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू वन इंटू वन माइनस टू दी होल स्क्वेयर विच वुड बी इक्वल टू वन देन फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू टू वी फाइंड एफ ऑफ टू एंड दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू माइनस टू दी होल स्क्वेयर विच वुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो बस वी हैव फाउंड आउट दी पॉइंट एज एक्स एफ ऑफ एक्स दैर इज जीरो जीरो देन वन वन एंड देन टू जीरो दस वी से द रिक्वायर्ड पॉइंट ऑन द कर् where the tangent is parallel to the x axis are given as 0 0 so this is our final answer This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.